In this lesson, we'll learn how to link the filtering of a CMS list to a component field. We don't have that option when using the native filter here, so we can't make each instance of the component different, but in this lesson, we'll learn how to do that. So in the products collection, I have a reference field here connected to the category collection. And that means for each product, we can choose the category that this product belongs in. So on the collection items, let's select them and let's give it a custom attribute of class. And we'll go ahead and connect the value to the category slug so that it's lowercase and contains dashes instead of spaces. On each item, there's now a combo class of the category name, drums, guitars, or whatever that category is. Now let's select all items and set them to display none so they're all hidden by default. And on this section, let's give this a class attribute of whatever default product we want to show. In this case, it's gonna be guitars. And let's link that to a component field. I'll call it category. And I'll have a note here of the different types that are allowed. And once we have that set, let's go ahead and create and head to our embed. So here we're gonna select any section that has a class of guitars. And then we're gonna find the items inside it that have that class of guitars. And we'll go ahead and set those items to display block. And we just wanna copy this and do the same for any other categories. So when the section has a class of drums, we'll find the items inside that have that class and we'll set them to block. So if we save this, we're seeing only the guitars in this instance. We can duplicate the component. And in this second instance, we can change our category to show drums. And now we have a filtered out collection list.